With the Pixel Watch 2 taking all the attention, the first gen Pixel Watch is now over a year old. When it first came out, it had underwhelming specs, below average battery life, and a really steep $350 price tag. So in Google's portfolio of relatively good value products, the Pixel Watch was definitely the ugly duckling. But because the Pixel Watch 2 is now the poster child, the Pixel Watch 1 is now discounted pretty nicely, often sitting at around $200. At this price, it's basically Google's Apple Watch SE, but is it actually worth buying now? Well, for one, it's hardware aged much better than expected. You can see this thing is just covered with glass and curved edges, but surprisingly, it's held up really well for me. There's definitely some scratches, but it still looks A-grade, and the stainless steel crown and frame still look good as new. The crown still rotates perfectly, and the side button still clicks the same. The IP68 rating seems to be serving this watch well. I used this thing for multiple sweaty runs, wore it basically everywhere I went, and no issues whatsoever. I personally really like this circular, water drop looking design. It's thin and light, smooth on the skin so it's really comfortable to wear on a daily basis. It still does look like a smartwatch not a regular watch but it's a timeless look that I think will still look modern in about five years. And the best part is the Pixel Watch 2 still looks exactly the same so you won't feel left out if you get the first gen instead. The included white band did get pretty discolored for me but I personally like this $3 band from AliExpress even more. For bands and cases you obviously won't get as many options as you can with an Apple Watch but there's surprisingly a lot of options from third parties. The bezels are pretty big, but because most of the watch faces are completely black and this is an OLED display, you really won't notice them. Speaking of which, this is a 1.2 inch 450 by 450 display. I know this is small to a lot of people out there, but personally, this is a perfect size for my wrists and eyes. Just as a reference, I'm 180 centimeters tall, which is like an average height in a lot of countries, and this is what I look like with it. The brightness peaks at 1000 nits, which is just enough for me in the sun, but I do have to take a closer look at it in those situations. Same story with the resolution, it's just sharp enough for it to look good and not pixelated, but it's not going to impress you. The one big downside is the always on display, which unfortunately causes ghosting. It's not necessarily burn in, but you'll start to see UI elements in places where you shouldn't see them. Some watch faces cause this more than others, so there's ways to get around this, but it's a bummer that this still happens. But still, I'm very satisfied with the display here, especially with how nice Wear OS is designed for OLED displays with the black backgrounds and colorful accents. On top of that, Pixel Watch now has Wear OS 4. It was a really minor update with a few improvements to backup and transfer settings, safety features, and notifications, but what did come through were the new watch faces. I originally didn't think they'd make it, but we do have the new Pixel Watch 2 watch faces here. There are also some other new things things like alarm syncing between your phone and the watch. This was way overdue, so it's nice that it's finally here. It's also supposed to improve a lot of under the hood things like day-to-day -day performance and battery life, but so far it feels identical as before. Same speeds, animations, same stutters and crashes here and there. There's really not much I'm expecting from a smartwatch in terms of performance, so I'm not complaining here, but know that you can get better performance than this watch for the same price. The biggest noticeable software update for me is not really a Wear OS thing, it's the updated Fitbit app, which is the primary tracker app for the Pixel watch. The UI looks a lot cleaner and the pairing process now seems much more native with the Pixel. It's still a bit weird that we have to use Fitbit and not Google Fit, but I'm not pressed about this anymore. The app tracks great, and the UI is much more responsive than it used to be on the phone. Other than that though, the software overall is pretty much the exact same experience, which could be good or bad based on what you thought of it before. Now, most importantly, how is the battery life with Wear OS 4? This was the number one complaint for most people who got this watch when it was on Wear OS 3.5. It was almost a one day watch, but if you wanted to track your sleep, it would either die or need to charge by the morning you woke up. It can be a 1.5 day watch if you have always on display off and you don't do sleep tracking, but it's still nothing impressive. This made using this watch a really conscious experience, always reminding myself to charge this thing every night or morning. Sadly, even with Wear OS 4, the battery life has remained the same. Honestly, I was kind of hoping for a big bump since Android 14 did that for the Pixel 7 Pro, but I'm getting very similar usage hours here on the Pixel Watch 1 as before. It's still the same 1 to 1.5 day experience. Adding on to that, Google also slowed down the charging speed so the watch produces less heat while charging. It'll take just under two hours to go from zero to 100%. The only good news about the battery life here is that the Pixel Watch 2's battery life isn't running circles around this one, being a moderate improvement with this new Qualcomm SoC. So putting everything together, the first Pixel Watch is still the same attractive yet simple watch, but at a much lower price tag on discount. If you're a Google Pixel phone user, you want the full Google experience and you don't want to buy a Pixel Watch 2 at full price, at a discount, I think the first Pixel Watch is now worth it for you. 
but keep in mind that a lot of Pixel 8 buyers are getting the Pixel Watch 2 for free and they're selling them pretty affordably online so I definitely recommend looking at those deals before buying the first gen Pixel Watch. But besides the Pixel users, I still think other options like the Galaxy Watch 6 are better deals than this watch because of their battery life and software features. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the Pixel Watch 1 right now and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.